Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with a new miniature market for everyone. Uh, we just introduced a new uh, Spiky Bits trading program, and it's a um, Got a lot of pretty good response from everyone. We've gotten a ton of lists. Uh, people have sent in, and we're still trying to dig through most of them. I think we replied to a lot of people, but I just checked my inbox this morning, and I was like, ugh, <laughs> so many emails. So we're working on that, and uh, I just wanted to get uh, you guys a look at our current um, used uh, wares here at the store, uh, just so we could maybe start clearing some of that out before we get a deluge of uh, trade-ins in the mail here so I wanted to do that for you today and also just kinda jump on here and remind you too that uh, high elves are on advanced order now uh, at the spiky boat store so definitely check those out if you're into fantasy and wanna pick up the masters of magic once again um, and I think uh, that's pretty much it for, for this one so I believe this is miniature market 19 and uh, let's take a look at that Okay, so we're back. Here's kind of what we have for you today in Miniature Market 19. I'll try to get in as close as possible, but as always, uh, you can always send me an email at rbear0002 at gmail.com if you see something that uh, tickles your fancy and we can uh, get you some details for it and everything like that. So here we kind of see some Warhammer Fantasy Minotaurs, some painted Minotaurs. We've had these for a while. Uh, they're actually my buddies. He doesn't really care if they sit here forever, but... Uh, they're here, and it, anyways, uh, there's a uh, interesting looking uh, Kroot with a downed uh, drone uh, for five dollars, and it looks like a Lilith Hesperex. I think she is missing. Yes, she is missing her arms, but she is six. Uh, here's a, a rack, right? I think. Yeah, I think that's a rack model. Um, there's no price on that guy, but I'm sure we would take six dollars for him. <laughs> uh, in the back, we've got a bunch of primed, ready to go hounds of uh, Warriors of Chaos hounds. Here, let's see if I can get you a better look here. There we go. Uh, looks like we're trying to get twenty for those because they're assembled and primed pretty well. Um, I'm not really sure what they go for retail. Probably like thirty-ish. But anyways. Here's a whole bunch of, ooh, that glare's bad. Okay, so here's a whole bunch of, uh, looks like Crimson Fist Marines. Maybe one or two Horse Heresy ones. I think that guy might be a Horse Heresy old mark. So we're looking at $20 per squad on these. Um, they're not painted the greatest, but, you know, yellow is a hard color to do. So if you have the resolve, you can probably just paint right over that or strip them down and just kind of start again. So I think you're looking at what is it? Uh, yeah, 10 per squad there. So you're looking at 10 Marines per squad for $20. Already, you know, a lot of the yellow work's already done for you. I'll try to get you a better look here. Here you go. So some have special weapons. Some don't. But they're pretty decent condition. And it looks like there's some in... Oh, no, those are just in baggies because he didn't stand them up. Okay, so it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, six squads, and they're twenty dollars each. If you're interested in that, that's not too bad of a deal. Uh, then I still got the old orc commandos, the ones that look like burglars with the little uh, the knit caps and the, the backpacks. Those guys are fifty dollars because they're out of print. Kinder has his old uh, black templar. What are these guys? I guess a uh, Teutonic looking uh, templar uh, terminator knights. In here, uh, they're, they're you know they're pretty well converted and painted and stuff. The heads people complained were a little small, but I like them. Uh, he has those at fifteen dollars each, which I don't think is too bad of a deal. Next up, we have some zombie guard squad of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Squad of nine, I guess. That's what it looks like. Squad of nine for ten dollars, converted up. Not too bad looking. Then we've got some hobbits here. It looks like uh, painted pretty well. Two, four, six, eight. Eight hobbits for $16. I don't think that's too bad. I'm not really sure which... I know this is one... There's Gandalf uh, riding with staff for $8 mounted. I'm not sure which one this one this this was. I used to know this from uh, War of the Ring, but I forget who this guy is. Anyways, he's $5. Then we've got some Tomb King... Uh, horse Tomb King, Tomb King Calvary, I guess. A whole bunch of those. They don't have a price on them, but they've been sitting around for a while, so I would probably take, I'd take $8 for those. 
just to get him out of here. Then we got a vampire counts, vampire countess, I guess, in the back there for five dollars. Pretty decently painted, not nothing too crazy. You can still do some work on her. Uh, going along with the Imperial Fists, uh, we have a Predator for thirty dollars in various states of I don't even know. But it is yellow, so that kind of helps with the base coat already there. Uh, then, let's see, next up here we have some Vampire Counts Blood Knights, it looks like. Yeah, those. I think those are Blood Knights. At $12 each, which I don't think is too bad, because I think they're like 25 each or something. Anyways. Uh, oh, and there's a Vampire Lord uh, for $5 mounted. A whole bunch of Graveguard. Let's see, Graveguard, $3 each. These are the old metal ones. Or eighty dollars for all of them. Looks like a big block of them. Maybe two, four, or six by six by six. Thirty-six. Does that make sense? Yeah, thirty-six times three would be ninety-six. So eighty dollars is not too bad. And there's some wraiths in the back as well. I'm not sure exactly how they play now. I guess they have the new plastic models, so these aren't quite as tall as that. But they're still the older ones, which I think were. We're pretty cool can race. Uh, those are eight dollars each. Uh, down here we've got a few Necron items still left. Looks like a Deceiver, uh, Catan Shard for nineteen. Uh, some looks like one heavy, uh, one heavy destroyer and two regular destroyers with the rods for uh, fourteen. Looks like the heavy's fourteen and the regular ones are ten. Uh, Vampire Count Zombies, just like a rando block of a few of those assembled in, yeah, not too badly painted. I guess if you needed something for Imperial Guard, they would work too. For Seventeen fifty. Uh, I think this is what is this? One of the Van Karsteins, the most recent one. He is. I can't see his price tag. Anyways, if you're interested in him, just uh, email me. I'll, I'll get you the price on him. Then we got some Noblars, uh, painted blue. I guess a reverse war paint there. I'm not really sure what was going on. Uh, looking for 35 on that, but we could uh, we could do yellow better on that. I think they've been sitting there a week or two. Land Raider Crusader, also from the uh, Imperial Fist contingent, looking for 40 for that. Uh, it's pretty well painted. Again, it's uh, it's yellow, so half the work's done for you. But you might have, you might want to touch that up a little bit. But it's not chunky or anything. I don't think. It doesn't look chunky from here, so it should be fine. Uh, painted Barracuda in some unconventional slash conventional tile colors. I think this was uh, slightly converted because some of those look like the plastic parts, but I'm not sure. Here we have some more uh, Imperial Fists. It looks like 10 Assault Marines, 10 Devastators as is, so kind of various state. Uh, not really sure. I guess that's just one bag. I'm not sure what's in the rest of these bags here, unless it's the parts form. Maybe it's the jetpacks and such. If it is, you get all that. If not, I'm I'm not really sure what the rest of that is. So uh, then we've got a. Ooh, I forget what that guy is called. Anyways, the the new uh, Tomb King model. Shoot. Oh well, brain's not working. Saturday morning, I'm loud. Looks like we're asking 25 for that, which it was way below half price. And it's a. Uh, painted uh, it's painted gold and it looks like it's uh, got some detailing in the cracks and stuff so probably a wash and then like a light dry brush not too bad at all I mean a lot of work's done for that one so not too shabby uh, here we have a bag of Lizardmen Source Calvary for 1750 it looks like they are not assembled at all they're just kind of on sprue the uh, quartered on sprue so kind of so it is what it is there uh, some old fine cast here. Looks like we've got a Herald of Zinch on disc for 24, fully assembled. Looks pretty good. And a box of Flamers of Zinch for $12. Those are the fine cast ones before they went to plastic. So not too shabby uh, if, you're, if Zinch is your thing. All right, on the bottom row here, we still have some of that Eldar stuff left over. Looks like we got some Viper jet bikes. Now a lot of these are magnetized. A lot of the weapons on here are completely magnetized. The bases themselves are magnetized as well. So it makes it a lot easier. And of course Eldar is coming uh, releasing in June. So these might not be a bad pickup at all. $20 each for those. 
Then we've got what one Falcon left, it looks like, for 35. Again, mag magnetized bases on most of these models. Uh, makes it a lot easier to stand up. And I believe the weapons are magnetized as well, but I will have to uh, double check just to be sure on that. Uh, then we got an Avatar in the back there. And he is going for, looks like 28. Something like that. Uh, all of these are primed really well, and uh, nice, nice prime, uh, prime job on them. You could easily convert this over to Altway or take it up from the black to a different craft world, whichever you know, whichever you want to do there. Here's a wave serpent. I'm not sure it's top turret. Oh, it looks like it's kind of falling down back there. But we do have the top turret. I see it. It is in the back, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of magnetized weapons as well that go between this one and the other three. So, chances are everything is there. I can verify for you if you're interested. Send me an email. We're looking for thirty dollars each for these uh, uh, wave serpents here. Uh, then we've got a bunch of out of print banshees, scorpions. It looks like there's a uh, one of the old uh, harlequins too in the front. Yeah, it looks like it's about all of them. These are all five dollars a model, uh, primed. Uh, may need, may need to be stripped. May not be. It just kind of depends. They're from different people, so who knows? Uh, then we got some warp spiders in the back. Looks like five squad, squad of five with an X arc. Uh, looking for twenty eight for that. Then we have some more Imperial Fist Razor back Rhino. Looks like there's one, one Razor back, four Rhinos with. Various states of turrets and not turrets. These are kind of chunky. They'll probably need to be stripped. I'm not sure what's going on with them. Uh, looking for, looks like 17 each on them. But again, they're probably going to need some work. So I don't know what to tell you there. But they're yellow, so that's half the battle. I uh, got a box of Lizardman Source Warrior Regiment for 1750. Looks like an old blood right in front there. I can't tell you what the price is on that, but we can definitely let you know. Uh, Source Warriors. Looks like a bag of them. Three bags a unit. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that goes, maybe that's the parts that go with it. I'm not really sure. Maybe there's three boxes of these units. That could be it. Three boxes of the uh, Warriors. Uh, attack bike for 14. A uh, squad of, what is this, two bikes? I guess that's two bikes. There might be three for 15. Maybe it's two for 15. It looks like there's two for 15. Uh, what else is there? Oh, uh, four-year-old uh, Mammon, the Herald of Nurgle with his, uh, I guess he's not the Herald of Nurgle. He's like a demon prince of Nurgle with his little Herald in the bag. Should be complete. Uh, then we've got some orcs, a little bag of, looks like burners. Yeah. Two, four, six, six burners. Uh, various stages of paint slash prime. Doesn't look chunky or anything. Should be good to go. Just paint right over it. Eighteen dollars for them. Uh, then a squad of boys right back there. Looks like that's going for fifteen. Uh, assembled. They look like they're the black reach ones. Yeah, they look like the black reach ones. Uh, there's a bag of on sprue pink horrors. It looks like. Might be a couple missing out of there. Or no, somewhere assembled, that's what it is. There's some assembled in there. So it's a box of pink horror, some assembled, some not, some still on sprue, twenty dollars. Looks looks like we're trying to get. Uh here's a painted, partially painted, not painted Angrath. Uh, I think he goes for two fifty from Forge Roll. We're looking for three hundred because he's uh pretty well painted. He's gotta work on his uh just gotta work on his uh, wings a little bit. But he's uh, good to go there. The whips are pinned. So you can actually store it. They just pin right into his uh, the hilt of his uh, whip uh, right there. And he's good to go. The base is done. Uh, it's pretty much just got to detail it out a little bit. Uh, got to own it. Kind of gave up on him. But that's okay. So he's good to go. Uh, 300 is what we're looking for there. Like I said, he goes for, I think, 250 on from Forge Roll. Plus, you know, shipping and all that, which is always a hassle. Uh, then we got another bag of orcs, it looks like. Uh, various stages of painting. Uh, not too bad, not chunky, good good tabletop quality for $25 for 30 I believe. Not too shabby. Uh, Warfire Cannon for Skaven for $15. Uh, looks like some Mark stuff back there. A Epic Drop Pod and a squad of uh, 
a battle company of uh, Epic, of Space Marines for Epic still on Spiru. I'm not sure what that's going for, but they're usually pretty desirable. And then we got some Max Mini stuff in here that should be in a different case. I keep forgetting to move it. Anyways, so there's that. Uh, in the other case over here, we've got some privateer items uh, still kicking about. So lots of privateer stuff in here. Looks like we got a couple Scarlocks, Gore Shade, a whole bunch of different Crick stuff. Uh, in the back, I'm not even sure. Oh, those are the, uh, the what are those? Cavalry for the Everblade. And some painted Everblade here. Some painted Cricks. Big guys, I think one of those is the Harvester, Sorrow, I forget. I'll start looking to see him after a while. Forgive me, Chris fans. Uh, then we've got a whole bunch of different stuff in the back. Looks like some Oberos Beasts. Uh, a couple of painted. Some Reeves of Oberos here. A couple more painted things. A uh, big box of, what are those, Blue Thralls? Yeah, Blue Thralls in the back, I think. 25. Uh, some painted Trenchers. From Cricks and some Century Stone guys. 850. Uh, then we've got this really big Tyranid army. When I say big, it takes up the whole bottom of the case there. So quite a few, quite a few models. Let me zoom in on it. It's got some old school Gene Stealers, more Gene Stealers, uh, some Zillin Throws, pretty much everything you need. You know, current effects, some warriors, a whole ton of bugs. Looks like they're all Hormagons. Guard, Hive Tyrant, Lictor, Trigon. Pretty easy paint job, easy to duplicate. Looks like there's some Termagants in the back. And they knocked over Hive uh, Tyrant, which is fine. That's easy to fix. I'm sure there's some bits that go with this too. I don't I don't have them. Science is a uh, $900 value, looking for, oh, and a codex comes with it uh, somewhere. So I'm sure there's like a bag of bits or something that goes with this and, uh, and a codex. So also looking for 430 for the uh, for the army here. It's probably on consignment. But not too bad looking, super easy to duplicate. I'm sure I could get you the paint recipe as well, if you're so inclined. Uh, a couple more big guys here for hordes. Everybody knows who he is. Partially painted. Oh, some more guys. I always like this guy. Reminds me of a wannabe, uh, wannabe kind of dwarven berserker, but ended up being a troll. <laughs> and some, uh, I think that's Revenant Crew. Yeah, Revenant Crew for uh, Cricks. And a blister of, looks like Lich Lord Asphyxius. Uh, no card, but it looks like the model's complete. And I'm not sure what this is. Looks like just a bunch of random Cricks models for 25. I could probably get you a complete list of that if you're looking for it. So that seems to be about. Oh, wait, there's stuff hiding. Uh, some more Oberos. Some Wolves. Looks like it comes with a faction deck, so we probably have all the cards for most of that stuff. Yeah, lots of Oberos stuff. So if you're into War Machine the Hordes. And like Oberos, we got you covered probably. So there you go. Anyways, so that looks to be about it uh, for this one. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff still to uh, in the back to go through. Plus, I'm sure we're going to get a lot more uh, with the new trading program. So definitely be sure to check that out. So if you want to uh, find out more about any of this or make a deal, just send us an email at... Uh, you can use my email address, rbear0002, that's B-A-E-R-0002 at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as shortly as I can. Mondays are super crazy around here, but if I don't get back to you then, I'll get to you uh, shortly after. So that's what we have available for this miniature market. Thanks for watching my video. I'm MBG Rob Bear. Spiky Bits.